power rating. So that was an interesting situation there. You saw Scott Dixon had pulled out on Devlin DeFranch. Oh, it's been! Go, Dalton Kellett in the turn one wall very hard. First crash of the month of May, and it's a big one. AJ Foyt Racing's Dalton Kellett. The K-Line insulator Chevy just snapped sideways and into the wall just like that. Whoa. Was that a big moment for Colton Herta? Oh, oh my well, gosh, Colton, Colton Herta. Herta upside down. Wow. My goodness. I just saw a huge correction as we were cutting from the shot. And Colton Herta. All good. <laughs> Not even come to a stop, and he's yeah, on the all good. Radio. I don't. I don't think so. All good. Certainly, I'm glad he's saying all good. But Down turn here, two. Just wait for safety gear here. Just stay strapped in. Man, he he he's got fast hands, man. The fact that that wasn't a spin the first time around. Boom. Man, that safer barrier did its job in a big way. Now I said the tub was destroyed. I will have to see here. It's the secondary impact when he's inverted. Look at that thing come down. There goes our camera. And watch this second hit. So the nose is sort of halfway off at this point. You can see the hinge point there on the front nose. And then he's going to hit upside down nose first. And it's just so disorienting for the drivers. No idea where he is on track right now. No idea secondary impact is coming. And there it is, Townsend. But look at the margin between the. Yeah, he just. I think he just lost it. Through that long sweeping left or right hander, sorry, yeah. and collected the wall. Heavy, heavy damage to that car. What a shame. He was having such a brilliant run. It was Frederick Lant who hit the wall big time. And this is why, wow, gets airborne. Smack into the wall. Reminiscent of the crash that Sebastian Montoya had at the very same spot two seasons ago. Really, really coming down here at Imola. Gabrielli Mini goes past the commentary box window. How on earth does he attack Tamburello now? He's got to be very, very careful. Here comes Havacourt to the left of screen. That's very brave. Oh, big, big incident. Montoya over the top of Deli Gawanti there, and he's into the gravel. Yes. And again, contact with an SP6, and the Mercedes have got oh, its way through, but it's a fast part of the circuit. Car. That's just after Flugplatz heading up the hill, just four kilometers into the Nordschleife. That is super quick. Yeah, red and white curbs. And he just lost it on his own, pinched it with a, an older Golf. And that's actually quite a big accident for the 131. And that is the. Milner Motorsport car that he shares with Michael Rayban. Nick. Se aprinse mafoarele. Și un start furat acolo. Start, start, cineva s-a oprit pe grilă. O situație foarte periculoasă și wow! Felipe Sanchez Vlad, un dezastru acolo. Here we go. Coming out. So I wonder look, if. Look, watch this. Yeah, he's. He just, has. He's picked up that debris he's and. Picked up that debris and flicked it back. I don't know whether that was part of I, the I event. It may well be, you know. Oh, oh, that, oh wow. No, 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 that's a big, uh, big smash. That's failed. Something yeah. in that car has failed. And I think it was the debris he picked up that. Like we said, it's a big chunk of metal and I think it's got under the car. Right, here we go. Here we go. The rear right is pointing the wrong way. Boom. Oh, he was way <laughs> too quick. Way <laughs> too quick through the back. He might need a cigarette after that. <laughs> and what a shame for David Shaw. Uh, no one likes to see how oh, he's just locked the front up on the way in. And uh, it just the car's just not quite done. A little bit. He's got Colasacchio in his wing mirrors. And he's watching uh, to see where he is on the way down there. Just Points a little too hot. Ah, he's locked the inside front up. And here's what happened just on the exit of the swimming pool. Yeah, just got a little too racy. A strange line in, and Ooh. he just taps the barrier there. And look, almost slipping out completely out of the car. A scary moment, especially when another car was coming from behind. 
Who's your money on? Down towards the Riley Dobbs. My money is on whoever gets the best oh! run through the traffic. Oh! oh! Worst possible scenario, and let's hope there is no Oof. damage to Nicholas's car because that was a big hit, and uh, he bounced. Yeah, over he's got the a top. puncture. He's got, he's a, got puncture. a puncture, ah! and he'll have to pull off. Oh, what a... He's obviously lining himself up for another quick lap, and that's that's the left hander crane again. Yeah, and that's a lot of damage. Yes, that is a lot of damage. It's a busy lunch for Tag Honda. That's yeah, a massive is. crash. Yeah, it is. Solson as well. Then a big, big moment for Lewis Rollo, high siding out of Coppers Corner. Billy McConnell with nowhere to go. The most recent. Here's David Fuminelli. Knew exactly what he was doing at the start. Really took advantage. Led on the way. But look at this. Oh, dearie me. Oh, and that's Il Baroni Rampante. Oh, big crash. Big, big crash. Oh dear, he made debris across the circuit. I'm just looking at a team of Limp Ferrari on the right hand side. It looks to be an SPS performance. Stanislav Jelinski, Stephen Earl, Kiki Sagnana as well. All of them off the track. Too hot, that's going to open the door for ages. Can't clear Wilford. <laughs> Can't clear Wilford. Wilford going off then at turn one, but. Oh, what a save! No, oh. no. A that massive a crash, and oh, that looks like dear. it's Wilford. And it was Wilford. Uh, that is a huge crash for Wilford, oh, and uh, we're going to have a red flag brought out almost. The Prius was actually coming into the pits, so that was tight. And now they've got oh, a big shot! Oh, I can't believe it! That is a massive accident on the home straight. Unsighted with the back marker in front of them. Takaboshi goes into the barriers. They had a slow car going down the straight. Cuando venga, uy, cuando hay un vuelco tremendo, mira, tremendo el vuelco interminable, Germán. Un golpe petorosi. Qué lástima, eh. A esta altura de la tarde parecida. Vamos a ver, lo importante es que no haya consecuencias físicas. I qualified driver because his main job is to race in. Oh, and Puhaka, whoa, 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 Puhaka made a contact with the wall and rolls multiple times. It should be red flag and red flag. Not the ideal start for Paul Aron. Oh, oh, my word. That was out of nowhere. Just, just sort of ghosted, you know, literally the suspension. He's now watching. This is Delano Van Hoft. May, uh, Van Hoff making his way through. Oh, clipping the barriers. The car just seemed to lose the rear end again. As we now take a view at the car of Santiago Ramos. Oh, he didn't even, wasn't even over the curbs. It was just before. I think it was just in case he lost traction. Uh, the rear end just went away from him slightly and it sent him over the sausage curb. And uh, at that point, th there was just no chance for, for Ramos to correct the issue. Of course, um, lost the car before the, the actual sausage curb, and it was just insult to injury at that point, heading into the barrier. And that will be the end of his qualifying session, that's for sure. So this is heading into the next left. He just lost the rear, heading around Massonet. And you, you head around very, very quick around that particular corner. And as you can see, just crunching into the barriers. And um, I suppose the only... Be resumed. Well, let's find out what happened to Harry King. Lost it coming into Massonet and just couldn't rescue it, unfortunately. Into the barriers there. That's a real, real shame for him. He did eventually get his car into a safe place, drove it all the way down to uh, Mirabeau. Feature race around Monaco of the year. But Hughes, oh, he's all action right now. Oh! oh! And that's horrible. That's a big crash. He'd been on the limit all the way through. He'd been into the barriers before, and that's a big crash to bring out the red flag. And Jake Hughes wringing the neck of that car. Flat to get as close as possible to the track conditions that Group B will have has been done by the entire oh! field. And Dragovic clobbers the wall. Felipe Dragovic on the limit, beyond the limit, and into the wall to the 19th and final corner on the racetrack. And everyone will have to blend out. Allez, ça y est, les feux qui s'allument. Et c'est parti. Et c'est bien parti pour ah, un pilote CRT. Ça a tapé très fort derrière Victor Bujon, qui est parti à la faute avec une voiture de l'équipe CLRT. Christophe Lapierre, qui est aussi impliqué, ça a tapé très fort derrière. Dans... Matt Vivas up to fifth, Bonderev is up to sixth. 
Two superstars charging their way back through the pack. Matt Veeve going to have a look at Drummond. That's brave. It doesn't work. Bondarev's going to have the upper hand round the outside. He's going to storm him down the main straight. Oh, Bondarev and Matt Veeve come together on the main straight. Oh, my goodness. Big shunt. Big shunt. Inside of that first turn, one curve. You don't want to use too much of that one. Where Woods hit and see the, the super ute bounce across. You lose momentum and you lose the grip. You need to maximize. This is a nice section of the road. Oh, gone. Oh. And gets into Woods. That'll be damaged. The 64. They both go off the track. Sunday on Fox. Kyle Bush. Whoa. Whoa. That was big. Got loose yeah, off the corner. Had to get completely out of the game. Oh, he's got right rear part. Right rear down. Huge. So Austin Cinder, or no, as Chastain hit him, turns Chase Elliott around in the wall. And totals Chase Elliott's car. Well, you saw it. He had a big time wiggle off of four. That thing it saw him get out of the gas. The flames came out of both sides. And then Chastain absolutely nails him on the front straightaway, turning. Side work out well for the Mercedes as we head down towards turn four. No, Sides is ahead there of uh, Hamilton. And now coming around the outside and making contact is Kevin Magnussen. And Magnussen goes off to the gravel in the Haas. If you've not been able to join us so far this year for Formula 2, I understand. Times are busy, but it's great to have your company. Oh, oh that's a big one. That is that's a big, a big one. one. Yeah, he's just lost it. It's done a lot of damage. The up and under coming into the home straight. They get side by side. There's a touch there, and they both spin off. And it's a big crash for John Seal and Simerson. Seal goes over the barrier, and that is not what you want to see. Tag Honda. On the approach, uh, he's lost the front and he's quite bumpy. But yeah, but do you know what? That just looks like a load of old mattresses getting thrown in there. You would not believe yeah. that's technical stuff and that works. You could yeah. see that. Yeah, it's done its job. Look it has look. done its job. Mira cómo vienen, mira cómo vienen y por el lado interno buscaba Frasca también que ya está prendido en la conversación con la otra KTM. Realmente por derecho cuando arranca, de, cuando gatilla la KTM se nota después tal vez en velocidad final pierde un poco pero ahora se está acrecentando la ventaja. Uy, Silvi, Silvi Silvi al piso se lo termina llevando lamentablemente oh. también Agustín Salazar, mira el Dibu quedó prendido en esa y en una banquita. It's like we're watching an early Model 3 race here on this uh, Friday afternoon. These oh. FP2 and Sasaki goes down, high Whoa. sides out of the way, and Massia with nowhere to go. Bartolini, I think, also went down there as they all. Uh, 1.43.9, was super feliz. E que panca, hein? E que é, sinal, bateu na diferença ali de frente, sinal de ponto. Pode... Bom, tô chutando com freio, problema com freio. <laughs> So round to back. Oh, he picked up a bit of understeer in uh, turn 13. No, he lost the rear front. And then, yeah, but it put him offline. And then in the change of direction, the rear let go. Look. So, yeah. The... I'm glad you're okay. We'll fix the car, don't panic. Yeah, understood. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain when I get back. Replay. Getting in a bit tight. There's Mass on. Oh, there was contact. And that was between Sammy Mega Tunef in behind as well, representing MP Motorsport. Oh, wow, we, yes, he did go down the inside there. Maybe a little bit late on the brakes, and unfortunately. Opportunities with the draft in these smaller displacement motorcycles. Rodeo going for it again. There goes Gus Rodeo. Rodeo Racing, Warhorse HSVK Racing, and down. Uh, Dreyer? Dreyer goes down. It's going to be the last lap time. Farioli has closed in. The riders have closed in. The lead two are not getting away this time. Farioli is putting some. Oh, the oh, back Whoa! That is that Salvatore going down? That's a huge moment. Sorry. Riding on board now with the Japanese man. He's into turn six. La Chapelle. <laughs> Haven't seen a crash like that for a long time. We're so far around. Is this this going to be big, I think. This could. This is going to be a high side, surely, isn't it? On the gas, on the rear. Oh, big one. Big, big slap on his back. Oh, that was horrible. A gente vai atrasar um pouco mais, ó. Ele fez ali a aproximação. E acabou se perdendo ali o Betinho. E ali o high side, né? Acaba virando o passageiro da moto. Pois é, tomou um high side ali. High side é uma queda um pouco mais forte. É... Dunlop chicane. And you can just see at the top, 
The Yamaha doesn't start. The Yamaha doesn't start, and neither does... That is Bradley. Bradley Smith. So those two Yamahas, well, they didn't get going. Good and news is that Bradley Smith has... Uh, Bradley did get going. And uh, he's done that very much out on his own onto the gravel trap and the car going high up into the air just about keeps it on four wheels and that would have been a heck of a bump as he came down to land. Are we going to see a repeat performance? Oh, Martinez again! Is it Martinez? It, it is Martinez. A... Oh, my dear me, that's a disaster. He's luckily been avoided. The bike has ended up on the inside of the track. He is high-sided, not once but twice. He lost the rear in race one. He lost the rear in race two. And now he's losing hope altogether. Disaster! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, it's a big one! It's a big smash for Adam McLean straight into the air fence. So it's the big one. The big bikes about to blast their way around the Orator circuit. We're riding off from row three with Dominic Herbertson. Oh, I think that was chalk that went through. But we're looking at Mike Brown who leads. We're riding with Adam McLean. Tweeney. A long way around, but it's Mike Brown who gets it. Oh, Sweeney just tucks up inside. Oh, coming together and riders down. Someone's gone down. I think it might be Brown. It is Mike Brown. Oh, this is from his bike. The world just goes upside down. Siempre estaba viviendo una rueda de reiteración. Mira, esa imagen estaba ahí. Creo que viste como que. No sé si por querer pasar a quien viene adelante Ahí, de él. Sin, sin duda, sin duda, sin duda. Ahí está. Sin duda. Es que ganaba una posición, se quiso claro. quedar por dentro, seguramente. Que era el, el, el de la heroica paisandú Andrés Sorta. Y ahí cuando busca, es Andrés Sorta, busca para adentro. Sí. <coughs> no, le quiero suponer de que los boxes de los boxes. Monday, Franco Bourne, the championship leader, was the first, and there was definitely contact there now. Franco Bourne taken out at the first corner, and they were dropping like flies on the opening lap of the race at Alton Park. Thankfully, from the looks of things, everyone avoided serious injury. Finn Arscott was one of them, and then this multiple collision. Asher Durham was involved, Owen Jenner as well, coming out of the Britain chicane on the opening lap. Then we had a safety car and this happened. Jamie Lyons, one of three riders involved, coming out of Shell. Perhaps it was cold tyres, perhaps trying to build back up to... Emma Kimmerlein, P1. And that will be serious frustration for Abby Eaton, who was just trying to find a way by. It's been a frustrating day for the driver from Lichtenstein. UK. Anyway, let's have a look here. He was late, wasn't he? He was late on the brakes there. I think got a bit wide on the marbles as well. I think you mentioned before, Jens, the marbles already built up. You got on the curb. Crowd there, uh, big cheer. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult because he lost it really early. If you see when he went left, he was already spinning. Yesterday, interesting enough, I was doing the priority laps and you could do exactly what he did. But I mean, I'm not qualifying or driving an F1 car at the moment, so it's not too bad. <laughs> but it, it's true, you know what I mean? It's, uh, he came in sideways and you know, yes, good. I just want to hear first, first hand what you, uh, your anal analytic abilities, because I'm learning everything oh, from you. Oh dear. Oh. Mario, I'll tell you what my analytic abilities are here, Mario. Carlos Sainz was that. taking way too much speed into that. that corner, and we've well, got a red flag. Podium on one occasion of your series is on for pole, and it's a big hit in. Right in front of them, he backs off because they're getting... It seems like Ferrucci didn't realize Malukas was there, I guess. I, I, I don't understand the rate at which Ferrucci turned into the corner suggested he didn't know that Malukas was coming through. It's surprising. I mean, he was he was very close on his gearbox. David Malukas was, and Santino Ferrucci's spotters should have been all over that. I'm sure, he was, I'm sure they were. I'm not saying they weren't, but you would think that Santino was getting a lot of information about the run that the 18 had. Simon Tahirudin, is he going to get swallowed up by the chasing peloton at the moment? No. Cardinals racing team looking anxiously on. Is he able to hold on? 
Tell you what, Ty Rudin, he's got... Oh, Ty Rudin taking oh, out one, two, three, four, five, goal! Oh. Ty Rudin loses it, and in the end, it's going to be a sprint for the line between five. Who is going to make it? Nazarel is that tries to get there, and the race win will go to... Nazarel is a The full safety car, that's a quirk caused by Monaco uh, in 2015, and that's Cordiel losing the Van Amersfoort car. Flag certainly down into that first sector, San Donato, for quite some time now. And you can see Marquez using his experience from Q1. Try oh, he's oh. high sided! Big, big high side! Massive, massive high side then for Mark Marquez. Fire comes out of the Repsol Honda. That was a big one. So, Moving so very, very gingerly. Early attrition, let's take a look. Ooh, he smacked into the padding there at the side. Hopefully he's just winded. Yellow tonight, yellow tonight. And I mean, Scott Dixon heads up, having to avoid that accident. Looking behind from the back of Alex Below, you see a big wiggle. He catches very similar to that practice. The driver of the yellow submarine. Whoa, wow, that is big. Wicked. Dealing with, and like we've seen from VK and Eilat, the two drivers that crashed earlier, the rear end just steps out in traffic, and that is a massive left side hit. As Whoa! The car went all, all the way around so early, it was a completely forward impact. Oh. That is one of the worst angles to hit. But you know what? That nose could have starts here at this point. Of course, they would have liked to have seen Roman Belinsky, I believe, challenging later on. Here's the replay. Close to look, and I think there might have been a bit of contact there. Um, look at, looking further up, you can just see him just crunching into the barrier. Whether that was the car losing grip, I'm not quite sure, but there's oh, a rear ending as well. Now that is car number 16, and that belongs to Lorenzo Fluxer who had to actually escape, and that's coming into the new Val chicane, so he had to take the escape. Very hard. He really has. It does give us a nice look at the rear suspension <laughs> mounting points in the gearbox. You don't normally get to see those torsion bar locations, but yeah, he's really gone into something hard. That's the end of the accident. The accident started earlier on, so until we see it, I don't think we really understand it either. Let's have a look at this, Alan. Oh, yeah, yeah that was a bit strange. It. Lost it early, but uh, it's this impact here on the tech probe that's actually spun off. To be honest with you, the G force must have just been in the angle because it couldn't have been high G at that level to split the car in half, though. With the tech pro barrier massively displaced, you could see it on the previous angle. There, you get a very clear point that, that with that watch company's uh, ma advertising on it. You can see the barrier's been completely displaced. That needs to be moved back into position. Just loses it, looks a lot like Renus VK in a very similar spot. Much earlier in the corner, it seems like he lost it. Tyron SP in real Crash. evil driving. Crash in turn two. Yellow's out. out. It'll finish under caution. It's Sage Karam. Marcus Ericsson. Oh, oh Suarez. Briscoe got him into the back of Suarez. And he gets pounded. Dang it. Oh, yeah. up pushes and upside down. I think he hooked a drain. Kyle Larson. Austin Dilla bobbles just a little oh, bit. Oh, now he's on the outside. Chastain's got him. Four wide. Oh, oh they're wrecking. Unbelievable. Did the caution come out? Did they get the yes. white? No. Caution before the white. Caution. We will line up and do it again. Wow. Oh my gosh. Korewa Okuzumi no machine de shoka do de shoka replay ni narimasuga. Ah, Sakanjan Tachagari de Seshoka, Arimaste no Krasua, Tsujimoto Shion des. Ah, Haneagari Maste, Okina Krasu ni natte shimaimasta. Into two. Not sure that's going to work out for the three at the back, though. Enlund 
Oh, and then has a big moment. Oh, oh that's a big hit that's into the wall. That's a huge crash. That is an absolutely huge crash for Enland. Coming out now. Come on, slow it down. Oh, I'm sorry, but that should have been. Uh, I'm not convinced about that. We shouldn't be seeing a driver climbing out of a car with cars coming past flat out. Maybe maybe the drivers need to respect the wave yellow a little bit more, How I get it, they're racing. You can hold position through there. Not sure about that.